Hi Libra, welcome back. So Libra, this is going to be your mid-July you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. This is a new layout, uh, not a new layout, but a new uh, camera setup. So let me know if you like it. This is just a temporary table till I get my new one, but let me know if you like this. Uh, you can also vote with the polls in, in the community section. But um, either way, blah, 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 let's go. So Libra, I'm gonna go back and forth between uh, you and them. We're gonna start with the shared energy uh, or shared karma and it's the sun. Okay, so this is talking about your essence, energy, your self-awareness, your heart, your heart chakra. Um, it's about spirit and creativity and honoring that in yourself and others. Um, it's also a very self-sufficient type of vibe. So you may be embodying that Libra or this person you're connecting with or both. Um, I love the sun energy because this is like, you know, finding the good, finding the happy, getting connected with uh, your more optimistic self and um, coming from a place that feels good from your heart. All right. So that's what you're being encouraged to do here in um, these next few weeks. So your overall supporting energy, sorry, I had a card fly over here is the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so libra this is all about um comfort and comfort and comfort look at that look at the bottom of the cards comfort comfort <laughs> you want to be comfortable you know comfortable in your own skin that's what i said self-sufficient able to take care of self being practical being down to earth being nurturing of self and others um everything i just said literally that's what that card combination means so let's see what this person's uh energy is here and they have the emperor so libra this person is um a bit of a in a more dominating energy so to speak, but this person is coming at it from a more way, uh, uh, from, a, from a, a frame of mind of wisdom, yes, but also control, right? Because the emperor can be quite controlling, all right? So you may have um, that dominating type of vibe, or you may get that dominating type of vibe from this person. Is a, is a masculine energy so even if it's a female that you're dealing with this person tends to dominate the energy you know what i'm saying um which can be good which can be bad depending on how they channel it right so let's look at uh law of attraction and what your um advice will be and i, I will discuss that at the very end for those of you who are interested in um advice all right. Dang, the cards can't stay still. All right, I'll get that one later. All right, so I'll save those as a bonus to the end. Now we're going to go into recent past energy, Libra, what led up to this moment for you and for them, and then perception, and then how you genuinely feel about each other and the future energies. So leading up to this moment, you have the world here, the Ten of Wands, and the reverse. And the page of wands so libra this is successfully coming out of a really heavy heavy energy okay so you you may have felt like you know what i guess i got to do everything by myself or you may have had a lot of obligations placed on you or a lot of heavy emotions you know that you may have been having trouble with uh coping with on your own but i feel like there's a successful completion of coming out of that energy here libra leading up into this moment and then this very new this very playful inner child type of energy coming out and i feel that's you you know because like i said you're going into the sun energy which is um is, is bringing out your inner child bringing out your optimism and most importantly your imagination and your imagination of what's possible for you all right so this is kind of toying around with that toying around with that idea or with the energies um yes so let's see what this person's recent past uh energy is leading up to this moment here so they have the seven of pentacles 
the seven of wands, the seven of swords, three sevens. Holy cow. Okay. Spirits with this person, they need it. All right, so three of cups, eight of wands, and the star. Woo-wee! Okay, so uh, numerology, numer numerology speaking, say that three times fast, um, this person is needing a reminder that spirit is with them and that they are not doing this alone. And for whatever reason, that's important for this person to hear. So if you're the cross watcher, there you go. But I feel like in the recent past, um, there's been this energy here, Taurus, uh, on this person's side of being a little bit too comfortable, uh, bordering kind of lazy or maybe not lazy, but complacent. Yes, complacent in their own life, you know, and this person they they want to be vulnerable or want you to be vulnerable but someone is disappointed here okay or there is some dissatisfaction with the way things were in the past okay someone not behaving the way that the other person wanted or someone not letting their walls down the way someone else wanted someone being a little too complacent within the connection for another person's taste you know what i'm saying so there seems to be some dissatisfaction in the recent past in this person's energy. And then the Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. So you could have reconciled with this person recently or you may dur during this time frame if you're in separation. But this, uh, and some of you, like I said, this is in the past. Um, or that's what they're desiring, okay? Um, this person, they want things to come together and, and they want things to move forward and heal in a way that um, in a way that they still have control though. Okay. So this person's not ready to relinquish control, so to speak, Libra. Um, but, but they're wishing to heal things. Um, they're wishing for things to naturally come together or move forward or communication. If you've been in separation from this person. All right. So now we're going to look at perception and keep in mind that perception is in the eye of the beholder. So um, it's your reality, but maybe not the reality, but what is reality? But we'll start there and then we'll go deeper. So three of pentacles, the hermit, knight of cups. This person's, uh, or sorry, your perception, Libra, of the connection is that you want, you want or want Ed to be a cooperative component. You want cooperation. Or some of you, you see that that's what this person wants. But there's also this need for space and to figure things out on your own or desire to have your own space to to yourself you know what i'm saying because if you remember the overall energy was self-sufficiency so libra i think a lot of you are wanting to feel okay with self and have the space and the freedom to be able to do that but it's not that you don't want to be loving. It's not that you don't want to be playful because I see that you're open to love and you're, you're um, wanting cooperation and, um, but you're also wanting some space to yourself. And, and I feel like I, what, for some reason I want to say, is that too much to ask? So maybe <laughs> that's something that you're asking during this time frame, or somebody may be asking, um, for you. Some of you, you're in this cooperative energy and you're envisioning what you want in a partner that could be in your current partner or in a partner you desire to pull into fruition. All right. So some of you may be doing like meditations and law of attraction work. All right. So what's this person's perception of the connection then Libra, queen of wands, two of swords. Ten 
temperance. So this person's very full and well aware, Libra, that you are looking to be more self-sufficient. Okay, they see that in you, they recognize that in you, they know that about you, they know that you want your space. Now, whether they honor that or not, I don't know, that's up to this person, but they are aware, okay? So this person sees this connection as something that definitely grabs their attention, but has a hard time keeping that attention, right? So this person may feel like they have a hard time keeping your attention, or that your attention is easily pulled everywhere but them or vice versa, you may feel that way about them, because there is some uncertainty here. It's like you one person has someone's undivided attention, and the other person doesn't, you know, like it's an imbalance here, like one wants more attention than the other, or is giving more attention than the other, at least that's the way this person sees it, all right, so Let's see how you genuinely feel, okay? So that was perception, and now we're going to go deeper. How do you genuinely feel? So what's at the heart of this, uh, Libra? Underneath your ego, what is it that you are desiring or feeling towards this person? The Four of Swords. The Ace of Swords. The Seven of Swords. This dang Seven of Swords that showed up over here. That's that dissatisfaction. Could be deception. What is the Seven of Swords? The Seven of Swords is the Page of Pentacles and the Empress. All right. So Libra, deep down, what you genuinely want is peace of mind. You don't want to think about it anymore. You don't want to loop about it anymore. You want clarity. And you're tired of the illusionary energy. You're tired of secrets or you're tired of you know, putting up with downright deceit for some of you, because I feel like your vision is very clear, Libra, and um, you, you're you wanting things that have potential to grow, you're wanting things that you can nurture into existence, and you don't mind being patient, and I feel like, Libra, you're taking a softer approach than you've taken in the prior months that I've been doing your readings, so I'm glad to see you kind of soften up that energy a little bit here. Um, but if there has been any sort of deception, even if it's self-deception, you know, uh, some of you, it's, it's deceiving yourself about what you're worth. Let me say that again. Some of you are deceiving yourself about what you're worth, meaning you're telling yourself that you're worth much less than you really are. You are telling yourself that your ideas are much smaller than they really are. And the belief in that has your growth stunted. So if that's what it is, then there is a need to come to a full realization that you are the creator of your own experience, that you are in the driver's seat, that you have the potential to grow and be and do anything. And as long as you have peace of mind and clarity, it's here for you. And once you get peace and clarity, it's here for you without effort, without effort. So let's see what this person is genuinely feeling emotionally and desiring in regards to the connection, the tower. The devil, <laughs> the ace of swords. So this person genuinely wants, you know, things. All right, I've got two different groups of you here, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult. But in general, this person is genuinely looking to tear down things that don't serve them anymore and um, get some clarity themselves, right? So if they have felt stuck, if they felt attached or like a codependency to this connection, then they genuinely want that to be destroyed, you know, and this person, see, they're waiting for the universe to do it for them. That's the problem. So this person's wishing for almost a tower moment because 
because I think that this person's not in a space where they want to make that decision on their own. I think they want like spirit or source or universe to show them why they should do that or to do it for them. And that sounds really crazy, right? But but really not, because I think a lot of people are get themselves into these energies where they just don't want to hurt anyone, anyone's feelings. They don't want to upset the apple cart. You know, they don't want to cause any disruption to their life. Well, it's not a disruption. It's not a disruption. And so sometimes people will wait, like, for someone else to make the decision. Or, you know, if God points me in that direction, I'll go there. Or if things change external to me, then maybe I will change. But they have it asked backwards. So, sorry for your, uh, if that offend, offends you. But they do. They... <laughs> The tower is never necessary. It's never necessary. And it's always more upsetting than if you were to take things into your own hands. So I think that this person needs to get a grip on the fact that if they want change in their external world, then they have to make that change themselves. And they can wish for things to happen without having to do anything all they want. But I'm seeing that universe is giving them the opposite, actually. So universe is saying we're not helping you you do it because it's part of your path that you be the one to make the change um so yeah that's a really strong message for your cross watcher you know um and that's not always the case right sometimes a tower is needed but I see here that actually the push is for more for this person to be able to control themselves and make the changes themselves and use the wisdom that they have from the past to um, become more self-sufficient and gain clarity. All right. So this person, they may be getting clarity about that during this time frame that nobody's going to do it for them, you know, that they, they got to kind of own up. They kind of got to take it into their own hands. They kind of got to take action on their own life and they, they can't be waiting for other people and other things and other circumstances to nicely put that in place for them. And that's just, that's just not how it works. So your hopes, Libra, you're hoping to make a choice, move to the future, and never look back, okay? Point blank period, amen. What's this person's hope? The Nine of Cups, satisfaction. They want satisfaction. They want the satisfaction of, um, I think for some of you, having things play out the way they want them to without having to relinquish control. But um, it could just simply mean they want emotional satisfaction within the connection, okay? So now we're going to look at future energies. And Libra, keep in mind that all the future energies can be changed based on free will. It's the best part of being um, a human being as we get free will. So I'll tell you what I see here. The hanged man in the reverse. The wheel in the reverse. The seven of pentacles. The Five of Swords, the King of Pentacles. So Libra, very strong message here. This is saying, you know what? Do not move forward until you're connected with the fact that you are worth it, okay? Um, and, and or things are not going to move forward until you get really, really connected with the fact that that you are deserving. You're deserving of love without bounds, okay? Love without condition, respect, trust, genuine, abundance, wealth, happiness, health, you name it. If you can think of it, it's yours. But you have to feel the vibration of having it, which is feeling deserving. And so, Libra, start uh, by putting yourself into a place of gratitude, okay? And start with um, 
bringing your mind to the present moment and, and what makes you happy and placing your focus there because until you do that, until you get reconnected with that, you know, and the alignment is there, things will not move forward. Now, some of you are definitely getting connected with your higher self and then as soon as you do that, here's a chance to cultivate yourself. Here's a chance to put time and energy into something that's going to ultimately give you all of the comforts you desire, including the comfortability of being in your own skin. All right. So I think that Libra, whew, that's intense for July. Getting comfortable with where you are is like so freaking important for you for the next few weeks. That was pretty much your entire message here. Getting comfortable with who you are in your own skin. And, you know, these things that are stressing you out here and that felt heavy in the past, don't bring that into the future with you. All right. So we have a tendency to do that, to get really focused on something we didn't like that happened in the past and then recreating it and recreating it and recreating it into our future uh, because that's where all of our attention is going. So be cautious with that. All right, so this person's most likely future outcome is the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the Knave of Pentacles. There's another seven, seven of cups, the Ten of Pentacles. So Libra. This person's most likely future outcome is to soften up a little bit. They are softening up. This person wants warmth. They got a good heart. Some of you are like, no, they don't. I hate this person. But you know you lie. <laughs> because hate is nothing but love that cannot be expressed. There's no difference. People don't understand that. Hate is another form of love. But it is a restrictive form of love, meaning you're not able to easily express it and or it's not being expressed to you. Mm, then it can feel like hate. But, um... This person wants warmth. You know, if they've been cold, they're softening up. They're a little bit still full of shit. Excuse my language. I try not to cuss, but seriously. Sometimes they are. They like to put this mask on. It's because they want you to believe. They want... <laughs> Their intention is that they want you to believe that they are deserving. You know, they want to persuade you, Libra, to lower and soften your walls. And the way that they may be going about that is to be more warm towards you. So maybe they have been very controlling in the past or maybe even deceptive or cold and that didn't work. So now they're trying that old trick, you know, where you attract more bees with honey. Um, and or they may not, now some of them aren't taking action, but that's what they're wanting whether they're saying it or not. But I see that this person's in this place where they want your warmth. They want it. They're confused, though. There's illusionary energy here. But this person is trying to uh, put a stable foundation into place. So, let's, so this person, here they are, and they genuinely want like some sort of divine intervention in their life that's going to put things right back on track. Um, at the same time, what they're being called to do is not to wait for a divine intervention, to be their own divine intervention and take control. But they're so, their energy is a little bit confused on how to do that. And I think that's why they're waiting for like a sign or someone to do it for them because they don't want to do the wrong thing and if they say the wrong thing and all of this and that and whatever. Um, but what they really want is something more solid. 
all right? Something more foundational um, to clear up the confusion, to get you to soften up or to soften up towards you. So let's look at the Law of Attraction cards then and see what we have um, here. And you had one fly all the way over here, so give me a second. All right, so the Law of Attraction says, I can attract relationships that agree with my desires. So people are not finding it difficult to find the mate of their dreams because that person is not out there, but because of their own contradiction to their own desire and any thoughts that they offer about the subject every day. I can focus on what I do uh, want in a relationship. By focusing upon the wanted characteristics of those around you, you train your vibrational offering to match only the best in them. So what this is saying, Libra, long story short, or short story long, however you want to say it, um, is that you attract what you want by being what you want. You attract people who feel they're worthy when you feel you're worthy. Think about that. Because if you're in your worth, if you're in your self-love, are you going to tolerate someone who tries to pull you down, drag you down, doesn't appreciate you, depreciates the value? Would you do that if you truly had self-worth? Of course not. So it's about developing that Libra. And then by nature of law of attraction, when you're in self-worth, then you get a lot of worthy relationships around you or you pull out the best of the current relationship that you're in, right? You attract more bees with honey. Some of you are figuring that out. Some of you are cross watchers figuring that out. But this is saying, focus on what you do want, okay? Focus on what you do want. If you're in like a committed connection or this person's like in your everyday life, um, then, then focus on the good qualities of this person, okay? And have you ever noticed when you point out the good qualities in someone, they express them more? Think about this in terms of like children. If you tell a child, wow, you're really good at singing. I really like the way you sing, even if they're a terrible singer. If you tell a child that, they'll, they'll get the confidence and then they will sing and then they'll sing and then they'll sing and then they'll think they're really good and maybe they'll become really good. Who knows? You know, if you tell someone, wow, you're beautiful. Wow, I love when you do that. They tend to do it more. Why? Because as human beings, we all like positive affirmations. So if you're in a current connection, positive affirmations are uh, good ways to cultivate more of what you want. And um, yes, so if you're wanting to keep the connection, then that's where I would put my focus. If you're wanting to pull in a new connection, then I would look, I would think about the best qualities that you love about yourself and get really, really into that. And then naturally things will flow to you, you know? Um, and some of you are like, well, maybe I see all the best qualities in this person, but they don't do that for me. They will do it for you. They will. If you're consistent, they will. Um, because it's hard to be cruel to someone who's so sweet to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know now um some of you are like screw that i don't want to do that so don't do that so then put all of that positive attention to yourself you know and let it be what it is okay so you you take that advice and you mold it to your situation because i can't possibly know all of your situations but i'm gonna leave it there libra you know what i mean uh, the zodiac signs I see out, uh, don't get caught up on this as a general read, but I'll name them off just in case. Leo is here, um, Virgo is here, Capricorn or Taurus. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Aquarius. Aries again, Leo again, yep, 
So those are the predominant zodiac signs I see, but keep in mind it can be any zodiac sign. Uh, it is a general reading. Please do let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe. Also, check me out on Facebook and Instagram, linked in the description box below, as well as on my About tab. And if you like my clothing, you can check them out yourself on my sister's online boutique, also linked below. Wishing you the best. Leave her. Till next time. Namaste. Bye.